Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dreda Matoto and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Sammy aka WLAG, Crazybus V31, Foxy, Wee's G and Z Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Jordan. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the Player Companion mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Don't forget to download Enable All Interiors and I will leave this inside my description below as well. Now unfortunately that the Player Companion mod isn't available on GTA5mods.com. The only way to get access to that mod is to go and join the HKH191 modding Discord server. To join this Discord server I will leave the link inside my description below. Once you have joined the Discord server, go down to Player Companion, sign up, and all you got to do is sign your name over here. You can even tag your name as well. Now there is more information about the mod, all you got to do is go to Player Companion info, and now in here, it gives you all the information and all the details and even photos about the mod. So with that said, let's get straight into it. Once you have downloaded all of the mods and installed all the requirements, all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you can see I have already installed my requirements so make sure you do install your requirements. Don't forget to go into your skittlev.ini file and make sure you, that you do change your reload key to insert. Once you have done that then go to your squits folder and make sure that you do spell squits correct and make sure that they are all lowercase. Open your squits folder and as you can see my squits folder is completely empty so let's get started. Open up your enable all interiors extract folder now inside that folder all you got to do is select all the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder or lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN3 folder and now select all the files that's inside that folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Open up your SHVDN2 folder and now select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Now open up your player companion extract folder and all you got to do is select all the files and folders and drag it into your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back and we are here with Franklin and now um, the only way to start your play companion is that you need to find another like NPC or you can spawn one using online NPCs but I'm just going to grab that one over there, but before you do anything, you got to open up your phone, then go to your contacts, go right down to the bottom, 
and you'll see enable interiors and even player companion now go to enable interiors now the reason why i'm saying that you need enable interiors just in case if you need to go inside buildings or etc so go to change in interior now just to let you know if you need to go inside any buildings just say for an example you need to go inside like the casino you need to go over here and now enable all this okay or if you're going to like just say for an example to the after hours um building then make sure you enable all this as well okay but most importantly make sure you go to the MISC options and go down to load MP mats. Now this is really important. You must enable this and you must enable enable blips. Now this is optional. Go down to random colors and enable that as well. Now go back once and now go to refresh interiors and press enter. Wait for a few seconds back out and now go on your keyboard and now press insert. Your game will freeze for a few seconds and now it's done. Now all you got to do is find any NPCs or you can spawn any or you can spawn any add-on pads if you want to, totally up to you. But you got to go near a NPC or paired, any paired and then now you'll get an icon up top on your left hand side. All you got to do is press T to talk and press Y to confirm them. So now right now we are with our companion and now we can do anything to her. We can like go to war. If you bring up a gun, she will do the same as like for you. I mean she does, she, there you guys. And you can talk to her too. You can put the gun away and now she will do the same. Uh, press T to, to talk and now you can interact with her. Press U and now on your D-pad press 7 and now you can hug her if you want to. Or you can use the other one which is press 9 to hug her again. Now you can do other things. You can um, show, the, you know, show orders. To show orders press X and then now you can tell her to um, to move over there press 7 and now the target will move over there you can tell her to move over hmm, over there and she will move over there for you now you can make her follow you all you got to do is there you go press uh, yeah press 5 then now she will follow you and press X to stop there you go now um, you can show orders and you can access the menu, press H to access the menu and over here you can like set up your settings and your partner's outfits and your partner's weapons as well. Uh, but if she dies, okay, if your partner dies uh, in about 2 seconds or 5 seconds you will get a message from her or him saying can you please pick me up at the hospital because they will be at the hospital so if you're going to kill your partner your partner will be over here okay at this hospital so if you're going to pick up your partner make sure you go over here on this map and your partner will be over there these loads of things that you can do as you can see on the map okay you can take your partner to the bonfire for a romantic evening you can take your partner to like to have a challenge at arm wrestling and her house is over here somewhere over here and that's where she lives right there now there is multiple plan areas that you can go to to do activities around the whole map but i don't want to go through the whole thing okay now i will only do one of them and that's going to the bonfire which we are close by over here so that's where we are. So we're going to go over there. So follow me. And we're going to go to the bonfire for a romantic evening. Now as you can see she is following me. Wherever I go. 
And now here's the bonfire right over there. You can't do much really, just stand there and do nothing, but yeah. And this is the bonfire where we can just kick back and relax while she stands there. And you can order her to stand in front of you just by pressing X and now press 7. And now she'll stand over there. Well, she won't turn around, but tell her to turn around. But the good thing about this mod, why I like it, okay, is that the player does follow you everywhere you go. Just say for an example, if you're going to go to her house, then if you teleport there, she will actually follow you, okay? So let's check this out. And then there you go, see? Your player is actually following you. Now, over here, okay, I'll show you guys something. Over here is where she actually lives, okay? The only downhill about it is that you need to be certain levels. Like, say, for an example, if you're going to go to her apartment, you need to be a level 40. So you basically need to do activities with your partner, okay? And you need to level your partner up. So right now, my partner is only level 1 because she just started. So, yeah. So right now, I can't do much with her because, yeah. She's, uh, wait, let, let's push T to stop. There you go. Now I'll show you guys something, okay? See over here? It says up top, okay? Wait, let me just walk away. There you go. Now it says up top, enter partner's apartment is unlocked at relationship level 40. So I need to be level 40 to actually get access to the apartment. So all of these activities that is on a map does require a level, okay? You just need to find the right one that you can do, like level one. Find one that is level one, find one that is level level five. But it's around here somewhere, but I just can't be bothered going to have a look, okay? So that's all guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And we are back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. But, uh, yeah, I would show you guys the whole mod, but it's just that it's going to take like two hours to go through the whole thing. So I don't want to make the video two hours, so I'm very, very sorry, guys. But the mod does work, and it's really, really awesome. I really do like it. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you on that as well. Don't forget guys, if you do like this video, smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.